This video is going to go over angle relationships that are created when you have parallel lines that are cut by a third line, which we're going to call a transversal. So we have uh, several different types of relationships that can be created with parallel lines. Um, I'm going to zoom in on this first. So parallel lines are lines that go in the same direction and they never touch. Okay. The line that's going in another direction that intersects with those two parallel lines is called the transversal. And then when this happens, it creates a combination of eight angles. We're going to look at those eight angles and the different relationships that are created so that we can tell the measurement of the angles in those relationships. So we have four different types of relationships where the angles are exactly congruent to each other. Vertical angles, alternate interior angles, alternate exterior angles, and then corresponding angles. We also have a couple of relationships that create a supplementary um, relationship, which means those are equal to 180 degrees. Those three are linear pairs, same side interior, and same side exterior. So if I zoom in real close, um, vertical angles are just angles that are kind of opposite or diagonal from each other. They're not touching and they're in the same little grouping of four angles that have been created. So for example, one and four are vertical, two and three are vertical. Then in the bottom set of four angles, we have the same thing five and eight, and then six and seven. <clears throat> when we look at alternate interior, what that means is I have my two parallel lines, and on the inside of this space, the angles that are alternate sides of the transversal, those are congruent to each other. So in this situation, Three and six would be the exact same measurement, and four and five would be the exact same measurement. The third type of angle relationship that also makes a congruent um, situation is called alternate exterior angles. So again, we have the middle part of the parallel lines. Those are interior. Exterior lines are on the outer portion of the top and bottom. Um, of this situation, an alternate means one's on the left side of the transversal and the other one is on the right side. So one and eight are equal to each other and two and seven are equal to each other. The fourth type of situation where we get congruent angles is called corresponding angles. So I have this set of four angles. And then the second line that creates my other parallel situation, I have four more angles. So the top left, number one, is exactly the same size as the top left in the next set, which is number five. And those situations are all um, color-coded, so you could go back and see which ones match. Then our other situation we said over here, is supplementary so these make 180 degree situations or they make straight lines that's what a linear pair means is it's a straight line so when I come up to the top of this um, it says linear pairs this situation linear pairs if they're making a straight line um, right across this parallel line itself one and two are side by side and forming a straight line. Um, three and four are parallel, they are forming a straight line. I could also say um, one and three. I can't color code everything possible situation. So right now one and two make a straight line. One and three also make a straight line. Okay, so um, seven and eight make a straight line. Five and six make a straight line. Or I could turn sideways and go the other direction um, seven and five make a straight line and eight and six make a straight line. So those are all 180 degree situations. I'm going to go ahead and write that on this one. So linear pairs, 
180 degrees. Same side interior, also, it makes a supplementary situation, so these are 180 degrees. And what that looks like is same side means they're both on the left side of the transversal or they're both on the right side of the transversal. And then interior means, again, look only on the inside of the two parallel lines. So this would be three and five and four and six. The last situation is called same side exterior, makes our third relationship that's supplementary. So again, that's a 180 degrees. Same side means both on the left again or both on the right. Exterior means one needs to be up on the top of the two sets of parallel lines and one would be on the bottom. So these are the exterior or the outer portions. So this is in your journal and you can unfold it and look at those situations to match up um, what's going on. So here's a different situation. It said um, you can get a real life situation with parallel lines and a transversal. So an example would be roads. Um, when they construct roads, they make them parallel sometimes. Um, and then this says a water line or a pipe um, was running underneath it. It could um, intersect those underneath the ground, uh, the two roads forming these angle relationships. So this bottom way is showing you with specific um, angle measurements. Again, we have some of those same words um, that I was sharing with you earlier, alternate interior, alternate exterior. Now we actually have some numbers in there. So alternate interior, again, on the insides of the parallel lines. And alternate means one on the left side and one on the right. Alternate exterior, same thing, except you need to be above and below those parallel lines. Um, consecutive interior angles, this is also the same as called um, same side interior. So I'm going to add that to the list here. So instead of saying consecutive interior, the word that was used on the opposite page was called same side interior. So you can tell that um, these two blue lines, blue circles are on the same side of the transversal and they're interior, they're inside the two parallel lines. Um, if I go over to the consecutive exterior on the previous page that was also known as same side exterior. Whoops. Okay, so you could also use this as another way to look at um, your situations and compare to see what the degrees would be or which ones they would be equal to. All right, last little thing we're going to look at is now actually finding some measurements. Um, it says when two parallel lines are cut by a transversal, the following pairs of angles are always congruent. So um, these were three of the ones mentioned earlier. Um, I've got my parallel lines, this little symbol of an arrow on top or a triangle on top of the lines means that these are the parallel lines and then the other line is um, the transversal. Then I have my set of four angles up here and four angles below. So what I want to do is I want to look at these situations. This says angle two is supposed to be 75 degrees. So where the two is I'm going to put a 75. Now the question says find angle eight, okay? Angle eight is down here. So if I look at, this is my transversal. These are on opposite sides or they're alternate and they're on the exterior. alternate 
because one's on the left, one's on the right, and they're on the exterior side of the parallel lines. So alternate exterior angles, alternate exterior angles should be congruent. So if angle two was 75, then angle eight um, should also be 75 degrees. Looking over at the next question, this one says if angle two is 75 degrees again, um, find the measurement of angle one. So again, angle two is 75. The angle I'm looking for is right here next to it, angle one. Okay, these are both an example of, um, I could say these are supplementary. Or this could be called a linear pair because they make a straight line together. They need to make 180 degrees as a total. So to find that measurement, I would do 180 minus 75. And that would be 105. The bottom says, um, Angle four is 75 degrees. So if I put a 75 right here, then it says how much is angle five? Angle five is right there next to it. These are on the same side. Okay, I could um, highlight my transversal again if I wanted. And then looking at these, they're on the same side and they're on the interior portion of the parallel lines. Same side interior, or they were also called consecutive. Um, these two also form a straight line, or, I'll put a line right here, those two form a straight line, or it's a supplementary relationship from our notes, which means it was 180. So again, I could do 180 minus 75, and we just figured out that was 105. So angle five would be 105 degrees. Angle four is 75 degrees, is what it says. Then it says find the measurement of angle six. So I'm gonna put in my 75 again right here. Angle six is in this position. I'm gonna highlight my transversal by looking at the placement of my green and orange. I can tell that these are on alternate sides of the transversal, alternate, and then they're in the middle area. They're on the interior of the two parallel lines. So alternate interior angles. And that forms a congruent relationship. So if 4 is 75, then that means angle 6 is also 75 degrees. So the main thing that you guys want to do is look at that handout with those different relationships and see when you code with color the position of the two angles that you're looking for, which one of those sets um, from the notes do they correspond with?